Hey guys, um, here is our last art video, um, art tutorial for the school year, for a quarantine school year. And this is going to be about Ted Harrison, who I just fell in love with. He paints totally different than the way I paint. I think you're going to love it. Um, he was a British Canadian, born in England. Traveled the world, him and his wife went to Malaysia, to New Zealand, just everywhere, and he taught art in my, almost everywhere he went. He ended up in Canada, in the Yukon, and as you can see, some of his artwork, it got simplified over the years. It's rather psychedelic, I mean, just wonderful. He wrote several, he illustrated several children's books. This one, O oh Canada is, of course, the title of the National Anthem for Canada, and he illustrated that book. He illustrated another book that was called the Northern uh, Alphabet, of course, Northern meaning, you know, up in Canada. Let me show you some other examples of his work. He started off, like I said, well, he started off with realistic paintings, but then got simplified. Here, representing Canada, representing the Yukon, almost psychedelic colors, Everything flows. Just look at the flow here. He started out with outlining everything in black. Let me show you a few more examples. The house, everything's outlined in black. He used the colors. You see he's using complementary colors. Opposite on the color wheel. The oranges and yellows. Opposite the blues. Okay. Later on he started, okay, here's another one still outlined in black. There again, that flow, it just just beautiful how it flows. Here's some more. Later on, he started painting. When he outlined, he outlined in the in one of the colors, the whales of the Arctic. Okay, there again, complementary colors, outing outline, very flat colors, but very very colorful. So I've tried to to give my interpretation of Ted Harrison's artwork. So example here, the sky, how it just, just flows, keeps flowing, the river, the, the lake, the mountains. What I did is just took a piece of typing paper, made an outline, just where I thought maybe the clouds might be. There again, just flowing. Mountains. Okay, that was step one. Okay, step two. Chose my colors. That's what he did. Ted, Ted Harrison checked his, decided on his colors ahead of time. I numbered them. There again, opposite on the color wheel. The oranges, yellows, blues. So they all have a number. Next, I decided that each pattern, whether it be a sky or mountain, is going to have a number. Going to give it a number. Here's what I did. Number one, I chose the orange. Number two was the yellow, number three, the red, four, the pink, and on down. Then I even did some repeats. Next, number five, I did a test, a test sample. And I changed my mind a couple of times. That's okay. You can change your mind on your colors. I found some mixed media paper, a scrap. I did my outlines again. I took my idea here. And it doesn't look exactly the same, but anyway, I did try to do the flowing lines like Ted Harrison did. Okay, after this, here's what I ended up with. And he outlined, in, in a, he chose one color and would outline everything. Now, I'm going to show you how I got this. I'm going to show you a partially done painting as to how I did it. Cause I'm going, to choose, I'm going to paint this next section in a line, which was with the turquoise paint. That's, that was going by my chart that I made. And I like to start in the middle. I found that worked better for me. And you can, I'm using acrylics. You can use colored pencils. You can use uh, oil pastels. You can use um, watercolors. What do you, what do you have, ever have available? As you see, I started there in the middle, and then as I get near the edge, try to be a little bit neater. Okay. And finish this edge. Okay. Then, okay, coming over here. Uh, 
Okay, got it. I just, I'm not going to do all, all of them because they just be very repetitious. So I'm just going by the color chart that I made and fill it in. Then for the outline, okay, he, he used black to start with. I'm going to use black because I used the turquoise on the other one. So I'm going to take this and... Well, let me start. Let me let me start. So you can see it, but that's still wet. Let's start up here. Taking my time. Outline it, and it, what's really nice too, this covers up some of the mistakes. <laughs> if I kind of got out of the line, and just continue that process. So it's a whole lot of fun. I'm going to say, see what you can do if you want to look up Ted Harrison on the internet. He published some books or they published books for him he illustrated some books he was an art teacher his whole life he did just beautiful psychedelic paintings here uh, that really illustrate the Yukon and when he was selling his house as he got older he passed away about five years ago which would have been um, 2015 before he sold his house and you know went to something smaller he had two huge murals in his house and the realtor says you can't leave these here so they cut them out and they donated them to the uh university of vancouver and so they're still there excuse me not vancouver U university of uh, victoria yes uh, sorry about that and so they're there um on display and you know i'm gonna say see what you can do with this you can look up on the internet see what else he did just gorgeous stuff so go for it guys okay see you later